December 8th. A word in season to the weary by Brother Bach Singh. For Christ is the end of the law. Romans chapter 10 verse 4. God gave the law to Moses for several reasons. First, it was given so that people might understand God's definition of sin. We read in Romans chapter 3 verse 20. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Secondly, the law was given to us to understand God's holiness. Now we know that what things sober the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Romans chapter 3 verse 19. The law was there, and they knew right from wrong. But when they tried not to commit sin, they failed and had to admit that not a single person had the strength or human energy to obey and fulfill what God said, and thus the whole world became guilty, and every mouth was stopped before God. Moses went on the mount and a great fire from heaven came on the mount, there was an earthquake and nobody dared to go near. When they saw the fire, they trembled and said, God is holy, he is a consuming fire. If they dared to go near where God was speaking they would have been consumed and reduced to ashes. If that fire was so holy that nobody dared to go near it, how dare you come near the fire of God? That was a glimpse of God's holiness and God says, compare yourself with that sight, look at your hands and feet and say if you are holy, and then come near my fire. Nobody was allowed to go up the mount except Moses. Thus the mouth of every man was stopped. Thirdly, the law was given to help us to know how terrible sin is. Was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin, working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. Romans chapter 7 verse 13. The law was given to make sin still more sinful. In other words, to help us understand how dangerous, destructive and horrible sin is. We think so lightly of sin and say, oh, it is only a thought, only a desire, only a feeling, only friendship, only affection, only a little association, not much. But the Lord tells us how dangerous a small thought is. How much destruction had been brought into homes and lives by one thought. How much unhappiness by one feeling. How much darkness by one blind step. The law was given for that purpose to make sin look exceeding sinful. Fourthly, the law was given to bring us to Christ as was read in Galatians chapter 3 verse 24. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. There is no salvation in the law, that is all the sacrifices offered, circumcision and commandments, prepared and trained the people like a schoolmaster for the Lord Jesus Christ, and when he came, there was no longer any need for the schoolmaster. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to every one that believeth. Romans chapter 10 verse 4. Christ is the end of the law. How clear God's word is, that when the Lord Jesus Christ came, he put an end to law. Now we are no longer under circumcision, Sabbath or sacrifices, we have come under grace. It is not by doing something that we become righteous, but by believing. The Seventh-day Adventists who say that you should observe the Ten Commandments and keep the Sabbath come under God's judgment for changing the Word of God.